We're taking a look at the most overrated running backs in the NFL. Really at the top of the list, a guy that's got a big name but just hasn't had the production to back it up. Reggie Bush. And I think looking back at that decision by the Texans to go with Mario Williams. pretty good. Yeah, not bad. And what they saw, you know, what they saw at the time was exactly what Bush has become. Sort of a one-trick pony on offense. Great punt returner, but you're not going to pay $11 million for that. It just hasn't really panned out to be that top flight. Of injured that, a lot, yeah, too. He's yeah. hurt a lot. Speaking of injured a lot, next up on our list is Darren McFadden. The guy that finally broke out last year, had a, his, his best year as a pro, so what we were expecting but just hasn't done it throughout his career. And I suspect those injuries are going to be yeah. a, a recurring theme throughout his career. You know, he just doesn't run with the kind of fluidity you expect of a lead back and, and isn't that sort of, uh, you know, workhorse that they thought he'd be with the number four pick in the draft. I assume that he's going to have an injury play career throughout, too. Unbelievably talented, but even last year we saw some games where it would be like a nine-carry, three-yard game. It's like, how does this happen yeah. for a guy that talented? And finally, I think a surprise on our list, Arian Foster led the league in everything, it seems like, last year. Went to the Pro Bowl, yet maybe not quite as good as we saw. A zone blocking scheme obviously has produced some 1,500-yard uh, some rushers in the past. Guys like Mike Anderson in Denver, yeah. Orlandis Gary had a big year up there one year. Arian Foster is a little more talented than those guys. I liked him in college, but I suspect that last year may be his peak season. I don't think he'll ever touch that kind of production again. Yeah, we'll see if you put him on another team and it's where he has to kind of create for himself right. that that would happen. And remember, Steve Slayton had a big year in Houston a couple of years ago, and that didn't really pan out moving forward. So what do you guys think? Are these guys overrated? Who are the most overrated running backs in the NFL? Let us know on Facebook or Twitter, or you can check it out at ProFootballWeekly.com.